How's it going? So we are at the start of the phase one of the 8th Avenue redesign. This was done a few years ago. We had the expanded sidewalk here with the truffle paint, the quick curve protection. You know, 8th Avenue was a total disaster if you wanted to use the bike lane anytime close to rush hour. There's actually a street film video from many years ago that shows the old 8th Avenue and what it was like. Here we are at 43rd and 8th Ave and look at the conflicts between people and bikes and cars. It's super obvious, we need wider sidewalks. The bike lane used to be the pedestrian lane because the pedestrians had nowhere to go. So I think this is such a great example of DOT looking at an obvious problem. There's people in the bike lane. Well, why are they in the bike lane? Because there's no room on the sidewalk, because it's the busiest city in the world and everyone's heading to Penn Station and, and Port Authority. Uh, so they widen the bike lane and they gave people more space. It's great progress. And this is where the new bike lane and the old bike lane merge. For a long time, there were two bike lanes here in 8th Ave. Really, this is just a temporary design that hasn't been fixed, but it is funny to see the two bike lanes merging together, the old and the new. If you see a cab parked in a pedestrian space like this illegally, you take a photo of it, you use Jeff Novich's reported NYC app, that guy gets a ticket. Unfortunately, you don't get a cut of it, but he'll get a ticket and maybe he won't do it next time. This is phase two of the 8th Avenue redesign. Starts at 44th Street, goes up to 50th Street. Eventually, hopefully, goes all the way to Central Park. And we've got this great expanded sidewalk with this truffle paint. We've got a bike lane. It's a pretty good protected bike lane. We've got the parking protection. And then next to the parking, there are flex post delineators, which usually I don't love flex posts, but I think they do a good job here of training the motorists where they're supposed to park, so they're not in the buffer zone, they're not inching over, creating a door zone problem. And then there's flex posts on the other side, encouraging the cyclists to stay in the bike lane and not use this new sidewalk space. And it makes it clear to the pedestrians not to go into the bike lanes. It's shocking to be standing here in 8th Avenue with only two moving lanes of traffic. I mean, this was five moving lanes and two parking lanes at one point, with no bike lane. This is the Clean Curbs pilot program. Instead of giant trash mountains on the sidewalk, inhibiting pedestrian flow. We have these bends. I could be taking tons of photos, every single street I hit. It's, it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. And the idea that the pedestrian, like us, have to walk next to that, the, the garbage is at the level of my face or above my head, you know? And I have my nose, I have to smell all that stuff all along. I feel like a rat. This is disgusting. But, you know, it's a lot better than giant mountains of trash on the sidewalk. A year ago, before this pilot existed, you would have had huge bags of trash right here, basically cutting the sidewalk space in half. Yeah, we are on 9th Avenue, and it is in the finishing stages of getting its redesign. Look at all of this beautiful space right now. We have two moving lanes for traffic. When the project's done, it will be three moving lanes for traffic. But we're gonna have an expanded sidewalk, so the sidewalk's gonna come out 10 feet over here on this side, on the east side of 9th Avenue. Then we're gonna have a bike lane. Then we're gonna have these beautiful concrete islands that we're standing on now. Uh, and then we'll have a few moving lanes. This, the 9th Avenue project is supposed to be done by the end of November. Um, it's the beginning of November now. So they're, they're paving, they got the steamrollers out right over here. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be done uh, before it gets too cold.